So, okay, yeah, how's your day been so far? How'd you do in pools? Um, I got out um, through losers. Uh, yeah, same. Uh, my first, uh, uh, what is match, though, um, that I lost in? A little eh, because I have speed. Uh, yeah. Like, whenever uh, I lose, yeah, I'm okay with it, you know? Because it's a learning situation with the USD. Yeah. Kind of like, you know, all that practice just to kill yourself, you know? <laughs> yeah, so, I, uh, I had a pretty bad loss to Zeno. I mean, I, I knew I, I, he was going to win, definitely. Actually, I'm going to take these off because I don't need these. I'm just playing. Um, I knew that I wasn't going to win, but I felt like I could have done a lot better than I actually did. What character? Uh, he went Diddy Kong and I went Meta Knight. Meta Knight. But that's actually his worst matchup. And let's see what the comments say. <laughs> Oh, you could just oh, you, you roll can, it over? That's actually awesome. I have it on my phone, if you want to look. Oh, uh, you see? Final. see. All right, all right, ignore. <laughs> yeah. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Um, Vill Villager. Oh, no, this is a um, Rosalina versus Sonic. Sonic. Now, this matchup used to be in Sonic's favor uh, a few passes ago. A lot of Sonic's are saying that uh, Rosalina is now. Um, mostly because anything spin dash related, Luma can just down kill or jab. Yeah. And unlike most characters, Sonic, I've, I've, done, I've done a little bit of studying with this, Sonic doesn't have many um, options against knocking off Luma. Right. Essentially, the Rosalina matchup is you want to try to get off Luma as best as possible. Right. And Sonic lacks in the, that department. Right. All right, here we go to game one. Lila, I would, I'm a little surprised that Carol let this stage have yeah, this stage because Sonic actually I think is really well on this stage. Right. And actually Rosalina is it's the recovery is very iffy on this. Right. They say the buff fly lot, but yeah. when you up it still kinda has that good effect. Yeah. Um, but anyway. Um Carol getting off with a good lead, uh twenty six percent. He's holding his ground below the platforms. Which against, so against Sonic, you really want to stay under a platform just to hide under his mix-up, like because he has a mix-up on a square B where he jumps up and then neutral beats. And with, if you're under a platform, you can't, you can't do that. I like Karen's space. You're basically keeping in a stage. Yeah. And not allowing uh, Richter to get back on without having to sort of pressure him away. He's also yeah. not going off stage edge guard and he's that was a great pivot grab, by the way. Oh, yeah. yeah, he's just holding stage control, just letting him off, which uh, Sonic's probably one of his bigger issues is getting back on stage. That was very interesting about us uh, going through that. But that's haven't been really on it. Yeah. But 97 to 27 percent. Uh, I think an Usman is probably a Aluma Usman, so definitely now. Oh, yeah, definitely. Um, I think that honestly with Violet, I think it could have killed it like 190. 95 to 100, I think. Maybe. But uh, this guy, Richter, getting a good uh, combo there, getting 55 damage. This match isn't over yet, but. Nice. Yeah, you know, what do you think uh, Richter has to do? Because if you look at Karen old gameplay, he's actually just staying put. Yeah. And not as really uh, overfitting at all. Yeah, he's so. What do you think uh, Richter has to do? He has to he has to get stage control. He's just letting Karanol just have stage control under that center platform. And he also needs to figure out how to get rid of Luma yeah. safely. And that's gonna be a big issue with Sonic. He has he's barely gotten rid of Luma. That's probably I think that's the first time that Luma's actually been out of the question, right? Now I, I do believe his fourth smash is safe if space correctly. Oh whoa. Oh, did he get the super on that? Uh yeah, but I think just his mistiming timing, Karanol getting up. Ah, uh, okay. It's alright. Yeah, he's just he's just holding down stage control and he's not juggling. Which is a the probably the biggest issue with Sonic is in this matchup is his issue with landing. He's gonna have a hard time landing because he doesn't have many options like Sheik or Diddy Kong has like flip jump or flip kick or anything like that. He doesn't have any projectiles to be reverse it. The best option he has is a spring, which sends him even higher, right? Now I'm wondering if one of Sonic's growth can KO Luma, like how Mario back up to it. I'm going to oh. Sonic's like up throw, or maybe forward throw. Um, I don't think so, because I don't think they have a big hitbox to do that. It's like Luigi's and Sonic's. But Karen will just keep it under, state, under the platforms, just punishing him whenever he's trying to land. Look at that face. Oh, and I like that up. Yeah, that was a really nice mix up there. 
Perno really keeping stage control, just not letting it back. I love this patience. Look at that. Wow. I know. He's just waiting and waiting and waiting. And then all you're up being? That's ultimately what this game is. Yeah. Uh, and stage control. And yeah. he had both of those that game. So that was pretty nice. Game one going to Perno. Yeah. Good stuff, Perno. Uh, we can bring it back if uh, he gets his stuff together. He's a really. Richter really needs to figure out how he's going to keep stage control, how to get Rosalina off stage control, and most importantly, how to get rid of Luma. Yeah, that's that's the big issue here. Because Three, Rosalina two, is diminished a lot of the characters when go. Luma's not around. You know? So, I don't know. I, I'm just unsure of a safe and logical way for him to eliminate Luma. Oh, the SD. Well, that's a good way to eliminate that stock. Okay. Uh, zero to death by Karen Ult, right? Well, um, the stage pick was actually really smart by Richter. This is actually, in my opinion, Sonic's best stage. He gives him a ton of room. He has the walls to jump. He had wall jump. And he has, I think he's be a little bit better at landing due to all the room that he has. Correct. How does he do on, uh, how does he get killed here? Um, uh, Sonic? Yeah. Well, go. <laughs> Up here, you could either grab him on a platform and uh, up B up air, or forward B up air. Or actually, a, a, a top Sonics who get the, uh, they normally do up throw, and then they wait for an air dodge, they up B, and then down air on you, in that case. But I don't see many uh, kill options for Sonic on this stage, especially Rosalina's going to camp up there. Right. I think that's a kind of a countermeasure. Like, even though that Duck Hunt would be a really good stage for Sonic, if Rosa is on this stage too, that gives her the opportunity to camp on that tree. Yeah. And anytime Sonic's below her, I mean, like, there's not really not much he's gonna do. Yeah. But off stage, Richter. Okay, get back. Oh, wow. That down smash. He got, he got him back for the Sonic down smash he got. Good stuff by Richter. And congrats to Colonel making it to winners round two. That was good. That was good. He, he actually kept it in control the entire time. It didn't look like there was a point at all during either of those games that Paranol was upset or he was, what's the word? Disrupted. Disrupted, yeah. Yeah. He, he pretty much was in control of the entire time. Yeah. So. Looks up next we have Dark Shad the Legend. Oh my god. Dark Shad. Oh my gosh. This is my boy. We're in the same online crew together. Yeah. Soul Realm. Um, shout out to my boys. Um, so, <laughs> somebody sponsored this man.